Oh, that's better. Oh, oh, uh, hi. I'm finally back home in California for this week's new episode of YouTube Art School. And I'm going to show you how to paint perfect skin tones every time. Because I bet you're struggling with that. I'll actually show you two different methods. One when painting using cell shading like they do for anime. And another when soft shading like this. Painting skin is something that I vividly remember struggling with in my early days, but never since I figured out the recipe for it. That recipe works for any skin tone and it's actually really easy. Let me show you. Oh, oh, oh quickly, come on, it's starting. All right, class is in session, pay attention. And if you're a good person, you'll also pay the class fee of either one like or one sub to help me feed my family this week. <laughs> hmm? Oh, thank you. Let's get right into it. We're going to look at skin color in the context of cell shading first. We'll start with that. The same style, you know, that they use in anime. It's a popular coloring style. There's only two colors to choose, so it should be pretty simple. But from what I've seen from countless of my students, those two colors are not the easiest to pick. If one of those two colors isn't right, the whole thing will look bad. So often, the result will look like a corpse instead of a live body. Lifeless. We want characters that feel alive, of course. So how? Well, that's easy when you know the secret recipe I'm about to share with you. And by the way, I have a popular class that shows how to use cell shading to color your drawing. So check it out if you're interested in that style. Link in the video description. Today, I'm not showing the whole cell shading process, only how to select the right skin tones, which I would argue is the most important color to get right for any character. So here it is. I recommend starting with the base skin color what the skin color will look like under a neutral white light source, you know, before selecting the shadow color. And the reason is simple. Here's my recipe for figuring out the shadow color. It's not a maths class, don't worry. You didn't click on the wrong video. It's actually pretty simple. So starting from any base skin color, hence why you start with that, you saturate that color by about 10 to 20%, reduce the brightness by about the same amount, and then move the color picker slider towards red a little bit. Now that's the recipe. So let's see it in action with different base skin colors. Let's say I'm starting with this very pale skin color. I'm just going to wing it first to see how bad it can get. Most artists will tend to just darken the same color, so let's do that. Mm, ooh, ooh, looks lifeless. Gross. We're off to a rough start, no, but maybe let's saturate the shadows a lot more to see if that fixes it. Oh, yikes. What do? Well, let's use my recipe this time, starting from the base skin color. We'll saturate this about 10 to 20%. You can see the number changes here in Photoshop. We're going from, what is this, 21% saturation to about 37, 38. So around 16 to 17% more saturated well within the range and going down now again you'll see the brightness here dropping as i add more black to about 88 percent or 10 percent less than what we started with so i followed my recipe let's try that hmm hmm not quite right but we forgot to move the slider towards red a bit so the recipe isn't complete let's redify this color and now wow looks much better not convinced this works all the time? Well, let's do it again with a darker skin tone this time. I'm starting here, so I'll saturate my base color by somewhere between 10 to 20%, lower the brightness by 10 to 20% again, and then move the slider towards red a little bit. Let's paint that in real quick, and oh, here's the result. Looks nice, right? I know you agree. Now, what if I chose a color that's not more saturated, but less than my base color instead. Well, this would be the result. Ooh, ooh absolute garbage. Something too saturated now? Ooh, same thing. It looks bad. I'm telling you, the recipe works. Still not convinced, maybe? Well, let's try this with an undead character. Really pale, sick-looking skin. Applying the same recipe. Well, saturate it a bit. Darken by a bit. Slide towards red. And, uh, well, let's paint that in. And, oh, oh my. Well, that's hot. So there you go. I've proven it again and again. Now you know my secret recipe for picking skin tones. Perfect skin tones 
every time. W what was that? Are you doubting that this would hold up if you're drawing your character in anything else than this specific neutral light setup? Hmm, well, let's try it. Let's say she finds herself in an environment where there's a lot of blue light, maybe. I'm just going to slap a new layer on top of all of this, set that new layer to the hard light blend mode, the MVP of blend mode. And well, now I can simply erase the parts that are being lit. And uh, well, you can see the whole thing holds up super well. The blue tint is just apply on top of our nice skin tones. So as long as the skin tones work, you can easily use a hard light layer to adjust the ambient color to your liking. And the same goes with any color, really. Check this out. Mm. Not bad, right? Something else that's not bad is my art program where I go into a lot more depth when it comes to skin and all sorts of other materials. But that's only one class out of over 30 focusing on different topics to help give you all the skills to draw or paint literally anything that your mind can imagine. It's the world's most popular art program and you can get it at a ridiculously low price until the end of the month for the extended summer sale. Check the link in the video description to learn more. There's still a couple of days left and I don't want you to miss out on the best deal of the year. All right, now let's move on to the second method. How to get good skin tones when shading using a more traditional approach, what we'll call soft shading or more realistic shading, not limited to two colors like we were before. And I also have a class on that style of shading. I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check it out later. This time again, we'll start with our base color. But the main difference is that you'll be able to pick literally any color as long as it's darker. Well, not any color, but anything that comes kind of looks like skin. Don't stress about it. The previous recipe kind of goes out the window here. What? I'll actually just apply a darker version of the base color that I have here, not bothering to do anything else to it. Now, granted, this doesn't look great yet. But patience, we're missing just one little detail, a little detail that has a big impact, a red terminator. I'll be back. The terminator is what we call the zone of transition between the shadow and the highlight when talking about shading, not this guy. And like I said, the trick is to tint that Terminator red, and it'll make almost anything look like skin. And that's why I didn't bother picking a good shadow color. It doesn't really matter what you pick. Heck, even this gray ball almost looks like skin when I tint its Terminator red. Now let's tint it for the whole character too. And oh, well, look at that. It looked dead and sad before. Now her skin is glowing, healthy, but why does it work? Well, skin isn't a hard surface. It's semi-translucent. As simply as I can explain it without boring you to death, some light goes through the skin, bounces around a little bit, has all of its frequencies absorbed except the red frequency, red light, and a tiny amount of that red light is able to bounce out of the skin, which is what we can see as a red tinted terminator. But why red? Because it's red under your skin. It's full of red blood. Very simple. So if your character had green blood, for example, you'd want to tint that Terminator green instead. Now though, will it hold up for darker skin too? Oh, I don't know. Only one way to find out. Starting with a darker base for my character's skin, I'll just darken that color for the shading part like I did for the other version. It doesn't look too hot, but that's only because our Terminator hasn't been tinted yet. If I color it red though, click. Ooh, mama, look at you. Beautiful skin. It makes any skin color glow with life. It's like magic. Magic that you now possess. Mm, but wait. How do I tint my Terminator so easily, you ask? Well, I'm just using the inner glow layer style in Photoshop, applied to my shading layer in this case, but that's not my usual workflow. It's just easier for this demo. You can check any of my recent how to color your drawings videos and you know, you'll know you see how I set up my layers in detail. But if you're curious, you can see the settings that I use here if you want a starting point. But you can also just manually paint it in instead if that's too technical for you. It's a pretty quick process, as you can see as I do it on this ball here. When painting skin in this style, just remember, tint the Terminator red, the zone of transition between the shadows and the highlights. That's all you need to remember. Super simple, even simpler than for cell shading. Of course, shading your character properly is another story, but check out the class I mentioned in the description if your shading sucks. It'll help you out a lot, I'm sure. Now, just for fun, let's see what this method looks like when we have a crazy skin color instead. I'll just tint my base color 
and my shadows real quick. And uh, well, as you can see, as long as the Terminator is red, it holds up real nice. Not so much without though. Uh, I come back. Oh, that's better. And uh, there you have it. That's going to be it for this week's class. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below. I still read them all every week. And if you have any suggestions for future videos that have a broad appeal too, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. I'm always open for suggestions. And then finally, all the brushes that I use today, the line art brush for the line art, the soft brush for the shading, and the smudge brush to get nice, smooth shading. You can get them all for free as part of my custom brush set. That's your reward for being a good student and following until the end. Link in the video description. But arguably, the better reward is now you know how to paint skin like a pro and it should never be a problem anymore. That's value right there. Oh, and uh, real quick, don't forget to check out the video description for the link to my art program.